that. Selena Olivas is here as well. If you work for a Spanish language uh, television station or a uh, print publication, we're happy to, to answer questions in Spanish. And here's one of the sad things is that we're here in Maricopa County. We've got residents of Maricopa County that are tr trying to do the right thing and understand what the truth is. And a lot of this misinformation is being spread by people who don't even live here in Maricopa County. But for one reason or another, they want to distract and, and they want to create issues with our election. I know the details are just difficult to kind of follow the details of all these different rounds of allegations, but I want to make the county is familiar with, with those and if uh, you had any response. And you're talking about the video of some presentation that was made. We want to get it right. We, we don't want to do it fast. We want to do it right. So that process, as they go through and they're comparing the signatures on the outside of the affidavit envelopes to the signatures that are in the records for, for voter registration, it takes time. They have expertise. They want to get it right. So that means that we will most likely, um, we're not going to know in some of these races. We may not know who the winners are on election night. We may not know for several days. I'm wondering how long you're currently spending late time to speak and then just the long ballot that we have and roughly what's the estimate for an average voter to vote that And if you come down to Maricopa County's tabulation center, you would see that at no point are we tabulating without the participation of the political parties. So the political parties actually have a role in this. We cannot even begin to start tabulating if they are not looking at the readout on the individual tabulator, making sure that it's exactly what it was when they last left off. Potentially threats, and that's where uh, Sheriff Paul Pinzo comes in. As committed as we are to keep the community safe, we're committed to protect the free vote in a republic. Anybody out there whose intentions are to undermine this effort, to create fear, to intimidate good men and women who are trying to facilitate this process, you will have to go through us to get there and it's not going to happen on our watch. So you can go and cast your vote and put your sticker on your shirt and feel good about the fact that you live in a free nation, or you can find your way down to the recorder's office and come in confrontation with the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, who are going to protect everyone and every vote in that building. Uh, so to some of my colleagues who are either in leadership or pursuing it, your words matter. And if you choose words that invoke violence, you will be listed on the criminal reports also. Uh, we take this very serious. We work with the prosecutor's office to determine if something crosses the threshold to be a crime and don't think that your words alone cannot get you in trouble because they can.